Alan Parton. I'm uh, based out of Johns Hopkins Medical Institution. I'm Alan Ween. I'm based out of the University of Pennsylvania. I'm Craig Peters. I'm at uh, Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. And I'm Luke Cabusi out of the North Shore LIJ Health System in New York. Yeah, every edition changes, and actually every edition changes a fair amount. We each go through the chapters and decide what we need in terms of new content, perhaps new authors. There's been a tremendous increase in the number of videos that we use, which will increase even more as the years go on. We try to make the editions in a format so that they're really what people who use information um, are used to accessing. So information technology plays a great role in deciding how the, the next edition is going to really look and what it's going to be available on and how to best access the various components that go into putting the text together, the text, the videos, the figures, etc. And there's been a tremendous change in medical knowledge and in especially surgical techniques in the area of minimally invasive surgery, complementing open surgery. And the wonderful thing about the book is that uh, not only do we include this information, but we include the gamut of authors. We have senior authors who have been doing say, open surgery for a long period of time, giving their expertise, and some younger individuals who are, who are immersed in the newer approaches, uh, giving their aspects and giving their insights into treating neurologic disease. I think as not just techniques change, but thinking uh, and perspectives on management of diseases, diagnosis, uh, all of that is changing steadily. Trying to keep up with it is difficult for any practitioner and that's what we try to anticipate. Where are the new directions going to be evolving? Try to identify the thought leaders uh, in those areas and have them as authors and then provide updates uh, in between the editions to keep the text current and, uh, and relevant to the reader. I think we've all been amazed at the change in the way education takes place and the way information is transferred uh, just within the last two decades. Studies now show that the average physician spends about 15 minutes a week trying to educate themselves. Uh, and we've changed the way this book comes forward with the updates, with the videos, with the uh, concise uh, descriptions within the chapters to try to keep up with that so that uh, we can continue to stay with the trend. I think we're all aware of the fact that Campbell's has been the gold standard of urology textbooks. I mean, that's what Pat Walsh told me when I first came on the editorial board. And I think all of us are very aware of that tradition, and it's not a tradition that we're going to let lie fallow in any way. So I think the commitment of all the editors is basically that we keep it the gold standard in urology and that each edition in many aspects gets better than the previous one.